YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another video from Fantasy Good Sports, guys. And today's video is going to be on five guys that are deep sleepers that you should be stashing in your lineups for week two. Now, listen, I'm not saying these guys are going to boom this week. I'm saying you need to be picking these guys up off your waiver wire and make a room on your bench and stashing these guys. These guys can break out at any time. So every week, guys, I'm going to give you guys that should be stashed if they on your waiver wires because they have an opportunity to boom if anybody goes down or they play good and have a good run or a good catch, these guys could come in and get a nice workload. So make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This is cutting edge content. I said what I said, this is cutting edge content. So with no further ado, let's begin. The first guy, guys, that I want to talk about is a wide receiver from the Arizona Cardinals and is Greg Dortch. Now listen, I'm not going to sit here and put Marvin Harrison Jr. down. Right, because I know this guy is an upper upper echelon athlete. But Greg Dortch had more targets. Now I'm not saying this is gonna be a continuation of anything like that. But I like Greg Dortch. Do Greg Dortch has been playing well for three years. So if you ever in a tight spot and need a wide receiver who's gonna get targets at least five, Greg Dortch is gonna be that guy in this type of offense. Colin Murray likes Greg Dortch. You never heard Colin Murray say I don't, I, I don't, it's not my responsibility to get Greg Dortch the ball. He never have said that. Not saying Greg Dortch is better than Marvin Harrison, but as a safe play, as a deep stash that's on your waivers, this is the guy that, I, that you should be picking up. Moving on, I'm not going to hold you up on this video. Guys, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This is cutting edge content. Also, share the content. Guys, and listen, if you need help, you need a consultation, I can help you. I can help set your lineups. I can help you make decisions. Anything you need, guys, I got you. So, Moving on to my next guy. My next guy is a wide receiver, and it's going to be from the Baltimore Ravens, and it's Rashad Bateman. Now, listen, I know Rashad Bateman didn't look great, but he did have a big catch, and he is the number two wide receiver to Lamar Jackson, who looks really good. So, guys, sometimes you just got to play the numbers game. And Rashad Bateman is the number two wide receiver. He's guaranteed 60 to 70 targets this year. So keep the guy stashed. You never know what's going to happen. You never know when he starts breaking out. You never know when he looks better in this offense. So I want you to have a guy that's, that has an elite quarterback. So we stash Rashad Bateman, guys. This guy coming out as a draft capital was very good, and he looked good on film running routes. But he's had injuries. Maybe he can push through the injuries and have a breakout season in, in a different quadrant. Maybe it starts this week. We don't know, right? Just moving on. I got three more guys for you. The next guy is a running back, and he's the backup right now. And it's Miles Sanders from the Carolina Panthers. Now, listen, Chuba Hubbard looked good last year, but right now we don't know who's the starter. Uh, Bryce Young didn't look good. So we don't know if Xavier Leg is going to get targets. We don't know if Deontay Johnson is going to get targets. We don't know if Chuba Hubbard is going to get the goal line touches or Miles Sanders. Miles Sanders out got more carries than Chuba. Was it because they were losing? I don't know. But anyway, guys, I'm picking up Miles Sanders just to see what happens. And if I have to drop him, it's okay. Any of these guys, you have to drop him, it's okay. These are deep stash guys. And you just want to be able to play the bingo card where if their number is called, bingo. If their number is called, bingo. All right, moving on, guys. I got two more guys for you. The next guy is a running back from the New York Giants and it's Tyrone Tracy. Now, listen, Devin Singletary didn't impress anybody. This offense didn't impress anybody. Daniel Jones played terrible. Guys, and I was on Daniel Jones two, a couple years ago. I said he was gonna, has a chance to be MVP. I'm way off. That's probably one of my worst misses of my career. But anyway, I, I still think Daniel Jones is solid. But anyway, this video is about Tyrone Tracy. Guys, Tyrone Tracy was getting some snaps. So if anything happens to Devin Singletary, I think Tyrone Tracy could get 70% of the snap percentage. So, guys, pick up and stash Tyrone Tracy. You never know. If you got a couple spots open on your bench, you can pick up Tyrone Tracy. And last but not least, guys, is a tight end. And this guy's from the Buccaneers, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And it's Kate Iden. Now, Kate Iden didn't look good last week or none of that. I'm not saying he looked bad, but he didn't get a lot of targets. But what I'm saying is when teams start double-teaming Chris Godwin and Mike Evans, Chris, uh, Kate Iden is going to be open. So, if you ever need a tight end, you in a tight end Premier League, this guy shouldn't be on your waivers. Or if you're looking for a tight end because you might have uh, a tight end that's not playing well, K-9 is a guy that you can pick up and play the numbers game to see what's going to happen. Is he going to boom this week? Is he a nice play? Does they start targeting him? You never know. Not saying these guys are league winners, but these guys are stash guys. So make sure you stash these guys, guys. So listen, thank y'all for tuning in to Fantasy Good Sports. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This is cutting-edge content. See y'all later.
Peace.